was a long but very nice day. And now I'm really looking forward to my warm, soft, cuddly bed. I hope that you are tired as well. If not, maybe we can spend some time together. And... <sighs> I'm sorry. Maybe some of my tiredness can rub off on you. I hope it won't take too long. And I hope that we can both fall asleep soon. Why don't I just tell you about my day, if that's all right? I woke up this morning and, well, I wasn't quite done sleeping, but my alarm clock awoke me. I was still a bit tired, but it was okay, because I knew there was a great day ahead of me. I had planned a small day trip with my girlfriend and I was looking forward to it. But first I had to take a shower, of course, and then make some delicious breakfast. I had bought some fresh strawberries yesterday and so now it was time to prepare them, wash them, cut them up, sort out the bad ones and put a little bit, just a tiny bit of sugar on them. Then I took some flour it was whole wheat, but it was all right. And made some delicious pancakes. When they were still warm, I put just a tiny bit of dark chocolate on them so that it could melt. And then put on the strawberries. And let me tell you, that really is a breakfast for kings. Oh, queens, of course. Then I packed some sandwiches, you might call them, and made my way to the train station. I got into the train, and after a few short stops, my girlfriend got onto the same train and then we went out of the city, changed trains and arrived at our destination. It was a small village surrounded by woods and a bit of, well, you could call it a swampy area, but it wasn't disgusting, it was like green and luscious. So we looked up our path and started walking. First we came through a bit of a clearing, a big meadow type of area and in the distance we could see some horses. So we went over there and greeted them. One came close to the fence and I tried to feed it by plucking off some grass and other things. But it was a bit shy. So 
on we went further deeper into the forest and towards some small lakes. Once we arrived at the lakes, we saw some fishermen. Well, at least people with some fishing rods. And we found a nice quiet little bay of sorts where we could sit down and have our lunches. On we went afterwards and we left the bigger paths to go through some really narrow, really, really narrow paths. I don't even know what to call them. Sometimes we had to stop and look around to see where the path was going because it was so overgrown, but that was the fun of it, of course. I'm sorry. I'm really not playing this up. I am quite tired. Um, so on we went. And we were really lucky because even though it was so swampy, there were hardly any mosquitoes around. Neither did we get any ticks or anything else. And we were basically all alone in the forest. It was really quiet and peaceful. There were birds chirping. The wind was rustling the leaves and the ferns. And you just heard nothing but nature. It was really quite lovely. Unfortunately, our feet started to hurt at some point, so we decided to make our way back. After a few more kilometers through narrow and winding fields and forest paths, we arrived back at not the same train station, but a different one, the next village over. After I think about it was half an hour, our train arrived and slowly but surely we left the forest and the horses and the really woolly cows that we saw from the train behind and came back into the city. After having a nice dinner at my girlfriend's place, there was a bit of cuddling and more intense cuddling. And now after my, I'm sorry. <sighs> After making my way home, I am really tired. How was your day? Did you have a fun activity, maybe a great meal, an encounter with a friend or family member, with your children maybe, with your parents, sisters, brothers, girlfriends, boyfriends. Any nice things happen to you today? It's always nice to think about the good things at the end of the day. Well, I don't know about you, but 
I'll make my way towards my bed now. Nothing left but to brush my teeth, put on my warm and soft pajamas. Yes, I wore pajamas. And then snuggle up into my pillow beneath my blanket to finally get some good night's sleep. Maybe you are already watching this from while you're in your bed. If so, this would be a good moment to close your eyes and just listen to the last few words that I'm whispering to you. Just let all your thoughts and worries float away into the distance. Just you and your bed and the good thoughts about the things that happened to you today. Slowly breathing in and breathing out and in and out. Nothing to think about, nothing to worry about, just sleep.